Breaking news, folks. Here's the most important stimulus information that you want to know. So stand to the end of the video. Well, folks, thanks for coming in. I was telling my cabinet uh, before you all came in that uh, when I was a kid in grade school and high school and college, one of my closest friends was a guy named Pete McLaughlin. And if you're a real basketball fan, he was the sixth man on the Reardon and Walker team at Providence College back in the, back in the late 60s. And anyway. The, the president uh, is going to speak, uh, looks forward to speaking directly uh, with Senator Manchin uh, about uh, and making the case for why the president feels this legislation should move, should move forward. Uh, he feels that they've always operated, their conversations have always operated in, in good faith. Uh, and uh, he expects this to uh, to be to follow that same uh, that same approach. Uh, I would note that Senator Manchin has been in touch over the course of the last several weeks closely with senior members of the White House staff, and we expect, expect this just to be a continuation of that conversation. And do you have a sense for where, where the sticking points are at this point? I'll let I'll let Senator Manchin speak for himself. Um, and again, uh, the president looks forward to uh, <laughs> communicating directly with him this afternoon. Now, Democrats are feeling an increased sense of urgency to get quickly bind agenda passed and sent out. Climate packages across the line. Climate packages are about to be finished due to the expending, as well as the child tax credit, should be extended. Now, the IRS will make its last monthly child tax credit payment on December 15th. Democrats see the monthly payments as critical to reducing child poverty and want to prevent a lapse. The key obstacle is mentioned who has expressed a reluctance to pass the social spending package this year. Now, despite Manchin's hesitancy, key Democrats are insistent that the expended child tax credit will not expire. Democratic Senator Sherrod Brown told reporters that we are not going to have a lapse in payments because that's too important. The $1.9 trillion stimulus relief law that Biden enacted in March expanded the child tax credit for 2021. The expansion included an increase in the credit amount and monthly advance payments of the credit and allowed the lowest income families to be eligible for the full credit amount. The Treasury Department and the IRS in July started sending out monthly advance child, child tax credit payments of up to $300 for each child under age 6 and $250 for each child ages 6 to 17. The monthly payments will allow families to receive funds in installments rather than a lump sum when they file their tax returns and are currently set to end this month. The social spending package includes a one-year extension of the expended credit. Senate Finance Committee Chairman Ron Wyden told reporters that the IRS has indicated that Congress should pass the social spending package, the social spending package by December 28th, in order to ensure that monthly payments are made on January 15th. Democrats view the monthly child tax credit payments as a key way to help low- and middle-income families afford household expenses. Additionally, a lapse in monthly payments could pose a political risk for Democrats ahead of the midterm elections. The spending package may be Democrats' best option for passing an extension of the expanded child tax credit before the end of the year, given that lawmakers are using the reconciliation process. A standalone bill with a temporary extension could face challenges getting enough Republican support to bypass a filibuster. And by the way, everybody, residents in Maryland are eligible to receive payments under the new State's Relief Act, and thousands have not cashed in on their checks. Under the measure, qualifying families are entitled to receive $500 checks. And a total of 422,000 Maryland residents were eligible to receive the state payments, 98% of whom received the payments in February. However, a spokesperson for the state of Maryland told reporters that about 8,000 8, of the payments have been returned. The state sent the funds via direct deposit for eligible residents. And once your information has been verified, checks are not are issued immediately. It means that if you act today, you should be able to receive a check or at least have yours reissued before Christmas. Residents in Maine, California, and Florida may also receive surprise payments in time for Christmas. The Maine governor announced a program to send one-time payments worth $285 to over half a million residents. The first round of payments was sent last month, and the state will continue to send more to the end of 2021. Thank you again for your support, everybody. If you have any more questions about the Fort Stimulus check, then leave them in the comments below. President. Republican leader. I ask consent that further proceedings on the quorum call be dispensed with. Without objection. The tornadoes that hit Kentucky this past weekend were some of the most widespread, severe, and devastating in our state's history. It's still difficult to comprehend the vast scope 
of this storm. Nearly 40 tornadoes touched down across six states. One tornado in Kentucky stayed on the ground for over 200 miles, 200 miles. This was potentially the longest continued path of any tornado in U.S. history. Towns have been reduced to rubble. Families are picking up pieces of their shattered lives. Most tragically, our governor announced today that more than 60 Kentuckians are confirmed to have lost their lives. Many more remain unaccounted for. This is the worst storm to hit Kentucky in my lifetime. The tornadoes caused considerable damage in 15 counties all across the Commonwealth. Thousands lost their homes. Tens of thousands are still without power. This was, in the words of one meteorologist, the worst case scenario for destruction. And it came during the Christmas season. Families are supposed to be gathering soon for rest, relaxation, and reunion. Now so many Kentuckians are facing exactly the opposite. The whole country is becoming acquainted with Mayfield, Kentucky, likely our hardest hit city. Mayfield is a town of 10,000 in the Jackson Purchase. It's been known for the beautiful Greek revival facade of the Mayfield First United Methodist Church. Now First United is completely gone, and the town is literally leveled to the ground. Mayfield's candle factory was operating in full swing this weekend to keep up with the Christmas demand. It was once a mainstay of the community, employing hundreds. On Friday night, the factory was turned into a scene of absolute horror. Many of the employees who were working that evening are feared dead. Rescue operations are ongoing. At least 40 employees were rescued initially one was saved after being trapped under five feet of rubble for hours. The devastation there is absolute. The tornado was so powerful that it ripped 27 train cars off their tracks in Erlington and scattered them across a field. A family photograph that was picked up by the storm in Dawson Springs, Kentucky was carried nearly 130 miles by the wind and discovered over in Indiana. All across Western Kentucky, residents spent their Saturday and Sunday clearing debris and collecting clothes and possessions that had been scattered. Families were left to inspect the cinder blocks where their houses 